huge these rocks are. It's a color green I don't think I've ever experienced before. If this doesn't scream Washington State, I don't know what does. Well, this is gonna be kind of a bit of a different approach to this video. Josh is working and I have the next practically three days to myself to do, I guess, whatever I want. Uh, so I'm gonna start today off by going and getting some coffee and some food. And then I think I'm going to go to Riverside State Park. Let's go check out winter in Spokane, Washington. And winter as in rain today. <laughs> I just pulled up to a coffee shop called The Meeting House. It looks really nice actually. Here are some thoughts that I have just being here a weekend. So yesterday we went to um, Coeur d'Alene in Idaho, right across the border between Washington and Idaho. Coeur d'Alene has everything you need. It It's also, it feels updated while still being a lake mountain town. Uh, it has every single store you possibly need, which we don't currently have where we live in Ohio. And it's like I said, a mountain and lake town. You literally can't get better than that. And not to mention, the coffee shops are endless, which is a plus for Josh and I, who are coffee lovers. Well, speaking of which, I'm about to go into Meeting House Coffee right here, and probably just take out my laptop and work on some stuff for a little bit before I go to Riverside State Park by myself. But there's my processing for today. <laughs> some say love is a winding road. Cause a map through the darkest night Some say love takes a heavy load That was actually quite the productive coffee shop session and now I am going to Riverside State Park it's about a 30 minute drive. I'm gonna to stop to get gas. I bought my permit online. Funny enough, someone I went to high school with lives in this area right now. So I've just been in contact with her on like Facebook Messenger. She's been giving me all the recommendations and she pointed me in the direction of how to buy my permit. And on that little website, I was able to find how to just buy it online. So it was like $11.50. For a day pass also to comment on what i got in the coffee shop i got an iced vanilla latte and their breakfast sandwich on a croissant oh my goodness so good the vanilla latte was perfect not too sweet perfect coffee flavor outstanding and the breakfast sandwich had this cream cheese herby mixture oh my gosh so good so a plus to this place and I honestly felt like a local despite the fact that I'm wearing my uh, Sandpoint Idaho hat that I got yesterday. I think I'm gonna get this one. Um, okay, I'm gonna drive to the state park now. Very, very, very rainy day. I am not wearing the shoes for this, so I'll tell you that. But I am just doing a start of the Bowl and Pitcher Loop Trail. Oh my gosh, there's this very big bridge that I'm about to come up to that goes right over the river. It is pretty cool. Cause I'm already yours and you'll always be mine. Some say love is a fire that grows Bound to hurt when you let it go Some say love is a choice we I honestly don't even know if you can hear me over the water rushing but look at how huge these rocks are Those are enormous Josh would love this Oh my 
make sure the camera is okay because the camera actually got pretty wet. I'll put you right here. But wow, that was such an easy to get to view from doing the first little bit of that, that walk. It's just so dang rainy. If it wasn't so rainy, I would have hiked more, but these shoes are not hiking shoes. And um, I'm pretty sure Josh has my hiking boots in his backpack at work. So that's a problem. But uh, let's keep driving, see what else we can find. Good news. My hiking boots were not in Josh's backpack. They were in the trunk of the car. But I'm parked in this area that has these beautiful trees that have this yellow green color to them. Um, so it almost looks like fall. Probably these shoes will keep me dry enough to do a little walk here. Let me show you what I mean by it looks like fall. Look at that color. It's beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, when I pictured what Washington and Oregon was going to be like, this weather is exactly what I pictured. And it is living up to the expectation. And it's not a bad thing. It's actually kind of giving it this vibe that probably wouldn't be the same if it wasn't raining. And I'm glad I just get to be experiencing full on Washington weather. It's crazy because there's ice and snow, but also rain on top of it. The greens are crazy. The, it's, it's a color green I don't think I've ever experienced before. And I think the rain helps bring out that color. So, wow, it's cool. lunch time and here's the thing I have leftover pizza from yesterday sitting in the back but I don't have a way to reheat it nor am I a cold pizza gal would it be weird if I knocked on someone's door and asked if they could reheat it I'm just kidding I would never do that so maybe cold pizza will have to do See, that doesn't look good to me right now. Where to next? Being pretty spontaneous here, and so I just pulled out of that last parking lot and swung right into something right down the road, and what a view! Like, what a, what a difference in just a moment's time. Whoa. Look at this little path. Okay, if this doesn't scream Washington State, I don't know what does. Rain, pine trees, and pretty. I decided to leave Riverside State Park. I'm gonna head to Liberty Lake now, which is on the other end of Spokane. But I figured I'd just go check out Liberty Lake because that's a popular hit up spot around here. Through, it'll be funny. <laughs> okay. Now that Josh is back, we're going to get some groceries from the store and have dinner in the hotel tonight. On the menu tonight is ravioli, mushroom to be exact. And normally I would be making my own sauce. If you know me, you know this. But uh, we don't have the resources for that, obviously, in, in a time like this. So instead we got this jarred sauce, but this is tomato and Parmigiano Reggiano cheese pasta sauce. Kind of sounded good. Now that I'm looking at the name of this, this is not what I thought we got. <laughs> what? What's wrong? I thought we got the tomato and Asiago one. We did. No. uh I, it'll still be good. Wait, this is not what we got. Uh, definitely not what we got. Not at all. I never found one of the other ones. What? Oh my gosh. Well, 
it'll still be good. Also on the menu, some broccoli. We got salt and pepper, a tiny olive oil. <laughs> Look how cute it is. And um, I got myself a kombucha, which I never do. It's really a rare occasion, so today's the day. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Whew, all right, let's cook. Oh, and Josh got ice cream, of course. Oh, that's a dull knife. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can't even cut broccoli. Mm, broccoli. Am I dumb or is this dumb? I am dumb. No, I am dumb. How do I do this? This one's not it. I can't. You need a spoon or something. We'll be careful with that. I don't like that. Oh my gosh. Josh, I cannot believe <laughs> this. Okay, please. I'm breaking the fork. You... <laughs> don't break the fork. Thanks. Olive oil, salt, pepper, broccoli. Dump it in, dump it in. Don't want to splat the raviolis. Ravioli. I'm always scared of this. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formioli. I'm laughing at yourself. Because it's ravioli. Ravioli, ravioli, great barrier. Big dumpers. Back on the... Oh, okay. <gasps> that was a lot. Cool. Basically stopped raining up here. Kind of weird, but okay. Whoa. Ice. Be careful. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's like not even cold. It's like lukewarm. Mm. Nope. Not for me. 